I'm Callie. In today's patch, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a crash course in hand lettering. So in today's crash course, I am going to teach you how to do calligraphy. So the things I'll be teaching you today are the difference between cursive and calligraphy, upstrokes and downstrokes, and the three different types of calligraphy that you can do. It doesn't really matter what materials you use when you're doing this calligraphy practice, but I'm going to share with you what materials I'm going to be using so that if you want to, you can use the ones that I have. I'm just going to be using a totally basic regular sketchbook, no specific type of paper or anything like that. I have a pencil with an eraser on it and then I have a Pigma Micron 1 for outlining and then also for outlining I have um, the Tombow Fudinoski brush pens. So let's jump right in. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So, first we're going to talk about the difference between cursive and calligraphy. So here I've written jelly in cursive and jelly in calligraphy. So the difference between cursive and calligraphy is cursive is regular and it's neat and it stays on one line. And then calligraphy is more swirly and embellished and if you try to stay on one line with calligraphy, it wouldn't work. See, so we go here and then all the way down here. So calligraphy is more fancy. Okay, so now I have my Tombow Fudinoski brush pen and we're going to be talking about upstrokes and downstrokes. So the first thing you learn when you're learning calligraphy is about upstrokes and downstrokes. So what upstrokes and downstrokes mean is if you write a letter in calligraphy, whenever your pen goes up, it's an upstroke, and whenever it comes down, it's a downstroke. So upstroke and downstroke. So that would be like an H in cursive, but in calligraphy, you embellish your downstrokes. So, let's write H again. So, the first line we draw is an upstroke, so it's normal. But then in calligraphy, you're going to add pressure to your downstrokes. So, you're going to add pressure. And then we're going to do an upstroke. So, no pressure. And then we're going to do a downstroke with pressure. Like that. So to get your feel for doing thick downstrokes, I would recommend just taking your sketchbook and doing some upstrokes and then a downstroke. Upstroke, downstroke. Upstroke, downstroke. And then you can just practice doing thick downstrokes with regular letters that you would write. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the three ways you can do calligraphy. So as I've practiced with calligraphy over the years, this is just some basic styles that I've adapted. So first we're going to talk about thin. Thin is like calligraphy except no downstrokes. So let's write, how about thin? And then we have what I like to call half. So what you would do is you would write thin and then you're going to go in like if you were using a non-brush utensil and you are going to start making thick downstrokes. So you're going to draw the outlines for where you would have a big downstroke. But then instead of filling them in, you can just leave them like that. I love this. It's super cute and fancy and then we're going to do thick so this is just going to be regular calligraphy with thick downstrokes so we're gonna write thick and that is how you write thick so thick is just normal and those are some of the styles that I like to do with calligraphy 
So as you practice more with calligraphy, you're going to adapt a certain style of each letter, how you usually write it, and connect it with other letters based on where it is in the word. So you adapt your own style and there's no specific way that you write each letter like you do when you're learning cursive. You're just using cursive, but you get to put each letter wherever you want, how high or low, make it as big as you want, you can tilt it, you can really do anything and just experiment and practice, practice, practice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this was helpful to you and it answered all your questions about calligraphy. Keep practicing. This takes a lot of practice to you know, get good at it. Please comment down below if you have any questions about what I talked about. I would be happy to answer them. Keep creating and I'll see you next time. Bye!